Okay, here's the dreaded North Star nightmare. And so what I did was, I thought that I would let the car idle for a half hour and charge up the battery. Unfortunately, uh, it's very likely my cooling fans didn't come on or something. I'm not sure what, what happened. But, uh, oh, it, cr it cracked the radiator. So there's a crack in the radiator somewhere. I thought it was this hose connection here at first. So I put double clamps on it. It was a little bit loose, but that wasn't the problem. Basically, we pour the coolant in and it starts leaking out right off the bat down here somewhere. It's like really hard to see. So apparently we have to take this, this, these, this front mechanism off. Have to loosen the front air conditioner and cooler. Take these mounts off and pull this radiator to take a look at it. It's really hard to see. You can't really see much from underneath. And there are two uh, basic styles of these. Some have uh, internal oil cooler and some don't. I believe this is the one that has... I'm not sure, but I think the oil cooler, external oil cooler would plug in here. And so I don't think this one has the external oil cooler in it. Uh, and then, uh, of course, it's a cross flow. The old styles are the up and down flow. This is the cross flow. So the flow goes from side to side it doesn't go up and down so that's what I need to hunt for and so uh, I'm gonna start taking this thing apart and uh, see how far we can get okay so these little light things kind of broke so it kind of broke I don't <clears throat> I couldn't do much with that this one came out okay this is big long screws go down here to the bottom that thing's broke and they'll just pull out of the way a little bit and so we got these screws here, these clamps up here, and I put the screws back where they came from. Notice this little cowl here. This is I'm not sure why they have that there particularly. It must funnel the air a little bit. And this flap goes back this way for some reason. And not a lot of play here, but a little bit. If you lift this up, It'll come disconnected from the radiator. Um, and I think what we have is, this is the, looks like the transmission line here. And so it's still connected, so it's still pretty tight in there. And that bottom, there's another radiator hose in there. It's got to be disconnected. And so... And you can see the little critters that crawled up in there. They're little critter tracks. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at right now. There's, of course, those two bolts that hold this thing on, on the bottom, you have to take off. Two on the top. I'm going to have to take the radiator hoses. This one I'm probably going to take off. Because uh, I don't want to put any pressure on them. I'm just going to completely take them all off. Not sure where the thermostat goes in this one. It doesn't look like it... Um, it's clearly evident here at this point so where's the thermostat where's the uh, radiator thermostat go on that I don't know at this point so uh, I got a Chilton's manual oh, okay it's on the bottom it's on the bottom water hose uh, inlet there I got a Chilton manual or a climber manual but it's really general it doesn't go into specifics and uh, as far as details on how to pull this particular one out. This is the SLS, it's a 99. Okay, so now I just gotta start pulling some of these hoses loose and I can maybe get back in there and take a look and see where this thing's leaking and uh, order a new one. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to take the air box out. This is some sort of special fitting it looks like on there. I'm not sure if that's just going to unscrew or not. That's in there pretty tight. I'll pull this out. <laughs> Can't really see where this thing is leaking. It's really hard to see uh, in there to see uh, uh, where the crack is. It's just not something that's clearly evident. Anyway, that hose right there is almost like welded on. 
It does not want to budge. I don't want to break it, but it, it's not wanting to come out too easy. Yeah, so this thing here, it's just, uh, just really hard to see in there. I don't see anything. But there's a crack there somewhere. You can see where it's leaking. And basically, once you get this thing on bolty, you'll see there's bolts on the side to hold this cooling shroud on. Uh, there's one over there. These are 10 millimeters. They're using 10 millimeters to uh, hold this thing all together. Anyway, so that's where I'm at. Okay, I think I see where it's leaking. Right under that, under this hose fitting. Right along the bottom edge. What I'll probably do, clean that up real good. I'm gonna try and slap some JB Weld over it. And I'm pretty sure that's where it's at. I bet I could probably blow in here and then hear it coming out on the bottom, that crack. You, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like right almost in line with that underneath it. Um, it's not a seam and it's cracked yeah, it's cracked, but that little, that rib sticks out, I can see it, you can't see it from here, but that little rib, right under here, I can feel it, it's got a big crack in it, and it goes up to this neck, and so what I'm going to try and do is, without taking everything out, I'm just going to try and uh, clean it up real good, and JB Weld it. Okay, there it is, uh, first coat of JB Weld, of course, there goes my 10 millimeter grabbed onto that magnet and then fell down in there somewhere well that's what I get for trying to show off anyway here's that's the first coat that JB Weld on that and I'm gonna put another another coat on and hopefully that will solve the problem for at least for a little while until I can get some somebody to help me put another uh, radiator in this thing Okay, so I'll uh, see you next time.